Soccer fans are calling for refunds from the Vancouver Whitecaps after star player Lionel Messi failed to show up at a much-anticipated game last week. The Whitecaps announced last week that Messi and two high-profile teammates wouldn't be attending the game as originally announced. An online petition calling for refunds and future transparency has now been signed by over 2,300 people so far. Soccer clubs said that they provided food and beverage discounts at the match, but fans are saying that isn't enough, considering the prices that they paid for the tickets. Our next guest bought a ticket as a surprise for his son's 11th birthday. And were they ever in for a surprise when they found out that Messi wasn't going to show up? We're joined now by Shiraz Dinder and his son Zen. Dad Shiraz uh, signed that petition, and they now join us from Souk, British Columbia. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for having us. So, Shiraz, let me start with you. You got these tickets for, for Zen's birthday. Um, what was your reaction to the news when you heard that Messi wasn't going to be there? You know, I found out because I went downstairs and uh, I saw my son sitting on the couch, really depressed looking, and he, I'm like, what's wrong? And he wouldn't answer. Oh. And then uh, and uh, he was just so depressed. I'm like, he wouldn't answer. So I, my wife tells me, uh, Messi's not coming. So he was devastated. I was devastated because he was devastated. And then I was devastated because, man, I paid a lot of money for this. And we had it planned well in advance. We were, it was a big anticipated event. Talk to me about the money. How much did you spend on those tickets? So it was just one ticket because I mm -hmm. couldn't afford two. So he went with his buddy and, and like his soccer buddy. So they were all disappointed. And we paid 350 for that. And um, and then there was the cost of the hotel and the transportation because we're on Vancouver Island, and so we had to plan the weekend around it. Um, that was a, it. Was a group of four tickets, but we we bought it in a block of four because it, the price would actually go up later when they were sold as single tickets. So that was an earlier uh, sale. But later on, uh, I mean, the normal price of a ticket like that would be about forty dollars without Messi. So I would say it was a big markup. Zen, let me ask you, how old are you now, now that you've, you've had your birthday? And what was your reaction when you first got the tickets and you thought Messi was going to be there? I was like, I was really excited about it because like, I'd say Messi's probably like my idol for soccer. So like, I was just like really excited to see him in person. And like, it was just like, I was just really excited. And how, and how old were you turning? What, what birthday was this? This was my 11th birthday. Well, that's a pretty special gift to get to go to a game by yourself with your friends, hey? Mm hmm So your dad says that you were pretty depressed when you learned that, that Messi wasn't going to be there. Talk to me a bit about that moment when you found out. Yeah, so like, I just like, I got home from school and my mom was like, uh, bad news, Messi is not going to be at the game. And like, I th at first I thought she was joking, but then like, she showed me and I got like really sad about it. So like, I just got on the couch and like, got really scared. And not, not scared, Aww. sad. Yeah. Uh, Shiraz, it, it's not the first time that, that Messi hasn't, that's been, he's been a no-show and you're not the first fans to be disappointed. Did you, did you kind of start to think maybe this was going to happen in the lead up? I didn't know about that, you know, um, but the thing about it is the, the Whitecaps advertised it like he's coming. You know, there was no there was no warning that he might not come. It was promoted as the messy game. And I just think that was a little bit uh, lacking in, in, you know, in honesty, if they if there's a realistic possibility. So I didn't know that there's a chance of him not coming. But, you know, it was the other two players as well. Uh, so, I mean, there's, there's, yeah, there, yeah. there's always a chance a player won't play. Like when you're buying a ticket to uh, any kind of a match, there's a, there's a chance of injury. You bought these tickets back in January. But now you've, you and, uh, and <laughs> thousands of others have signed this petition asking for a, a refund. The team has. We, we've reached out to the team, and they've reiterated their statement. I think they're offering... Um, everyone who attended that game, a, a, another ticket to, a, to another game down the line. It's not going to be, you know, a, a, a build messy uh, game here. Um, is it fair to ask for a refund, given the circumstances? I mean, talk to me about, as you say, it was billed as Messi will be there. 
Yeah, I would say it's fair. I would say give us the refund for the difference of the regular ticket price. Because it's just, it was such a huge markup for some of that difference is, is my feeling about it. I think it's more than fair to ask for that. The, you know, what they're offering instead doesn't even come close to the cost difference. So uh, it just sort of seems to me like, oh, we've got this revenue. We don't want to lose it now. It made them a lot of money that game. And it was yeah. like, the, it was a total game for them. So yeah, yeah, I think it's fair for sure. I, I want to talk to you about uh, the kind of revenue they might have seen because I was in the downtown core on Saturday and it was a parking lot on the highway getting into Vancouver and all along first getting into the downtown core. And I think it was all to do with the Whitecaps game. It was pretty clear that's where all of the pedestrians, all that traffic was headed. So Zen, let me ask you, I mean, you were obviously very disappointed. You weren't the only one, by the way, who was disappointed that Messi wasn't going to be playing. But ultimately, what was that birthday like? What was, what was it like to be in the stands? Did you have a good time? I, I, yeah, I definitely had a good time. The, like, the, the, I really liked the vibe of the game because, like, a normal game, I don't think it would be like this game. So, like, I really enjoyed just like the vibe and like, I, I definitely enjoyed the game, yes. And dad, that's, that's not quite enough for you though. Well, you know what? I felt a lot better about it when he came back from the weekend and he'd had a great time. So it lifted a lot of my frustration, but I still think there's a principle involved here. You know, the Whitecaps, they kind of won me over this year because I ended up going to that first game because of the package, it was the season opener. And I'm, oh, new fan. And then just as quickly as they won me over, they lost me sort of thing. It's just, it just doesn't seem right. With that much markup, it doesn't seem right. I know Messi wasn't in their hands. Him not coming wasn't in their hands, but they could still offer more of a refund than the fairly paltry offerings they've given instead. Well, you know, fair enough. You are obviously not the only person. As I say, more than 2,000 people have signed that petition. Thanks so much uh, for your time tonight. And Zen, happy birthday. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having us.